If you clicked on this video, then it's a very good bet that you're either into raw denim or you're just getting into raw denim. So it might come as a surprise to you that raw denim, true, authentic, honest raw denim, it's been dying out for the past few years. But with the original big player in the scene throwing a lot of his weight behind it, it might just be time that raw denim makes its comeback. And so today we're going to look at who that is, how they've done it and what they're offering. Now, by raw denim, what I mean is this kind of crispy, shiny, stiff denim. It is being pushed out by, by, by one wash denim. It's being pushed out by stretch denim, which I don't have any of here at the moment. And it's being pushed out by that sacrilege of sacrileges, wash denim. Now, if you are a regular to the channel, you will know that I am a massive fan of the one wash denim. I think that stretch denim is nothing but a good thing for, for certain fits. And wash denim, I, I, it's, this, it's, it's not for the everyday, for sure, but this definitely has got a place in my heart and in my wardrobe. And the thing with, with wash denim, the thing with stretch denim, and the thing with, with the, the one wash denim, it just makes denim much, much more comfortable when compared to a pair of true bras. It's really only a very few folk these days that will walk into a store and when presented with a pair of, of raw denim jeans and a pair of, of one wash denim jeans, they're going to walk out with a pair of raw denim jeans. And if they do, they're walking funny because these things are really, really uncomfortable for the first couple of weeks. I mean, people, even, even seasoned denim heads, actually, especially seasoned denim heads, they're looking for an easy life these days. Nobody can really be bothered with the break-in period. It's a pain, literally. But that aside, I mean, that is definitely part of the problem. It's part of the issue. But, but the main point is here that the people who are walking into stores or, or shopping online, they're not, they're not looking for, for raw denim. And they're not looking for, for one of two reasons. And the first one is that they just don't know. It's that guy or girl who's just walked into a store and when they're presented with an uncomfortable pair of jeans or a comfy pair of jeans, it's going to be the comfy pair of jeans every single time. Or they're that seasoned denim head that I just, just described there who are, they've, they've done the whole break-in thing, they've done the uncomfy jean thing, and they're just done with it. The fact is that nobody is pushing raw denim these days. When I first got into raw denim, that was what, 2010, 2011? So, I mean, technically it was a little bit late to the game, but back then it was the, the heyday of the lumber sexual. You had your, your nudies of the world, you had your Edwins, you had your, your Levi's Vintage Clothing, maybe even Denham. All these brands had really deep pockets for marketing. And this marketing was saying, go raw and don't wash your jeans. It was, it was in the public consciousness in that way. And these days, not so much, but, but that aside, before you had your nudies, before you had your Edwins, your Levi's Vintage Clothing, your, your Denhams or, the, the myriad of other brands that have come and gone over the years. There was one player in the scene that was pushing raw denim long before all of the rest, G-Star Raw. Now, it used to just be G-Star, but so important was the raw part to the brand identity that the raw had to become part of the brand name. And in fact, so important was that raw part that other brands are not actually allowed to refer to their denim as raw denim. They have to refer to it as something else. Nudi has its, its dry denim, right? And then other brands refer to their denim as loom state or unwashed or whatever it might be. I mean, it's all one and the same thing, just denim that's not been tampered with. Okay, maybe it's been samprised, but okay, we're not gonna get into the weeds here. There we go, off on tangents again, but okay, coming back to the main point here. No one is pushing raw denim until now because that OG, G-Star, they've started throwing their weight behind it again. There's this ad that's just been persistently popping up before any video that I can watch on YouTube. There's a good chance that you saw it before you could watch this video and you probably hit skip. But anyway, it's really, it's out there and it seems to be extolling the virtues of raw denim. So let's take a look. They say that life is like a really good pair of jeans. Do they? Who said that? <laughs> they don't actually say that. But for the sake of this, let's suppose they do. Ah, okay. Let's just roll with it. See, you start out untouched, fresh looking, clean edges, 
make nice lines. But then over time, scars and scuffs become souvenirs. Now they start to, to educate folk on wearing raw denim and sort of the inherent qualities of that. In a, in a pretty good way, actually, they use, they use age as a metaphor for this. Wrinkles and lines form from good times and bad. Aging is stories. Is that Mads Mikkelsen? Experiences. And better yet, with every story comes a new look. And they're, they're really leaning into it. I like it. All it takes is a little bit of patience. Word. So welcome every stage of life. Wear your denim. Is that Willem Dafoe? Until the end. Yeah, okay. Bravo, G-Star. This is a well done ad that does a very good job at explaining how uh, a garment can, can age with you, can build up a narrative, so you can build a, a true connection with, with a pair of jeans. The only issue that I have with it is that no point do they explain that the jeans have to be raw to achieve the kind of thing that they're getting at. I mean, I know, I know you know, but I'm wondering if the average guy or girl who's just coming across this ad at random, are they going to really understand what they're talking about and, and how that's going to work? I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, okay, let's take a look at the raw denim that they've actually, they've got to offer us. I mean, it's, I'll admit it's been a while since I really looked at what they had to offer. And whenever that was, I, I, they were pretty far from raw denim. Okay, right, they have a whole section for the campaign. Shop raw denim, that's what we want. Okay, whoa, there's a lot. And not just jeans, not just for guys either. And not just indigo. How much of this is actually salvage? Not a lot, but G-Star's cuts in their fit, they do this whole sort of 3D thing. That it tends not to, to lend itself to salvage all that much. Yeah, so I'm not particularly surprised about that. I'm not particularly bothered about that. I mean, um, raw denim does not necessarily have to be salvaged denim, but as I said, we're not gonna get into the weeds too much here. Let's take a look at one of their salvage models though. Let's see, slim, nah. Triple uh, A regular straight salvage jeans. That'll do. Okay, it looks to be a good fit. With G stars taking a few things. Uh, they've got the, the back pocket arcs and then something that I, I really like to see. They've got this, this seam that runs along the back pocket. I mean, it's completely and utterly useless, but it is going to lead to some really interesting fades. Something that I find a, a little bit weird, there are rivets for the coin pocket, but no coin pocket. I mean, this is a design choice, let's face it. Um, and if we're being frank here that the coin pocket was totally useless. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I'm okay with this. I mean, these are a contemporary pair of jeans with nods to, to the past for sure. And the rivets here are a nod to that past. It would look weird if there was nothing there. We're used to something being there. And as I said, the coin pocket was pretty much redundant, so G-Star, like really bravo. The denim, it's a very respectable 15.5 ounces and seems to have pretty good sustainability credentials. Okay, these look good. 199, so 200 bucks, that's 200 euros. Uh, that's at the pricey point. And that puts you into the realm of some other brands that offer some pretty damn good jeans. I mean, maybe better choices in terms of denim, better choices in terms of fit, uh, maybe better choices on, on place of origin, if that's something that you're really into. But still, I mean, none of this is the point. I just wanted to see where G-Star were at in terms of, of raw salvage denim. I mean, the actual point here, the thing that I'm getting at is that there is a big brand once again pushing this, this raw salvage denim and putting a lot of energy behind it 
which means that it's going to register on the radar of a lot of folks that might not otherwise have come across it. It could be that that gateway into raw denim, into salvage denim, like the same way that nudie was for me, and I'm guessing a lot of you, or the same way that maybe Edwin or Naked and Famous was for, for a lot of others. I'm very curious to see whether, whether other brands, other big brands, are, are going to follow suit and start pushing that, that raw thing again. Well, New Day, well, they had their whole no wash thing along with the raw denim thing. I'm wondering if they're going to start pushing that again. Are Edwin going to go back to their whole Japanese origin story? Naked and Famous? Naked and Famous never really had a thing apart from making really good jeans and then making really weird jeans. Levi's Vintage Clothing. Are, are they going to go back to... Well, actually, are they going to scrap their plans to to shut down the whole Levi's Vintage Clothing collection because I've heard whispers that that's going to happen. And with all of this is a, a fresh-faced denim head. Are they going to go into a store and actually ask for a pair of raw denims over maybe a pair of one wash denims? Or is that seasoned denim head, are they going to get all nostalgic for the, that, that crispiness, that, that, that discomfort? That part, I don't think so. Actually, if you are a denim head and seasoned, what are you into? Are you still into the raw denim? Are you into the one wash? Are you into the washed? Um, let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's get this over with. Link down in the description to the CRD sales page and a bunch of other goodies and so on. And back to regular programming. I guess only time will tell if this, this idea of raw denim of true, honest raw denim, if that is going to going to make a comeback. But to G-Star, if you're watching this, you're not watching this. If you're watching this, really nicely done, like well done. I am super, super stoked to see a big name in the denim world throw the weight behind this concept again. And I mean, the, the, it's, it's, the advert is incredibly well done. The production values must be massive. And I guess the way that they're pushing this, it must be costing them a lot of money. So I appreciate this. And if you are a new denim head or a potential new denim head and you're feeling a little bit lost in this whole thing, first up, I totally get it. It's a lot. And second thing is you might want to check out this video here or here or wherever it's linked. Check out that video. It, it covers a lot of the basic principles behind raw denim. 